Sketchy FFD, or Freeform Deformation, is the last tool on the Artisan Transform toolbar. To demonstrate, I'll subdivide and smooth this object. Sketchy FFD works best with a relatively high number of iterations. This tool only works with groups and components, and the group or component must be open for editing. I'll toggle on Sketchy FFD, which adds a set of 3x3x3 control points, or cage points, around the object's bounding box. Now any of the tools on the Artisan Transform toolbar can be used to manipulate these points. I'll also toggle on Artisan mode so that keyboard shortcuts will activate these tools rather than the native tools. Points can be pre-selected or hover-selected. With Artisan Move active, I can move just this cage point. Next, I'll press the spacebar to activate Artisan Select, Shift-select these three points, press Q for Artisan Rotate, and rotate the points. With Artisan Select, I can also window-select cage points, press S for Artisan Scale, and shrink this whole side. Pressing Escape deactivates the current tool and clears the selection. After the model is deformed, pressing Enter regenerates the cage points for the new bounding box. If I want finer control, I can get a different set of points by entering comma-separated numbers for points in the red, green, and blue directions. I'm entering 5, 4, 3, and now I have 5 points along red, 4 along green, and 3 along blue. Up to 8 points can be created along any axis, but keep in mind that a high number of points may work slowly. I'll select two sets of points along the red axis, activate Make Planar, and bring these points to this plane along the red axis. Quads are maintained while using the Artisan Transform tools in FFD mode. And when I toggle off Sketchy FFD, the Artisan Transform tools will work on the mesh itself. Combining Sketchy FFD with Make Symmetrical can quickly produce complex repeating models. I'll start with this object, whose sides I'll subdivide and smooth, then make into a component, open, and turn on Sketchy FFD. With Artisan mode enabled, I'll select the points in the middle and move them to bend the object in two directions, then press Enter to regenerate the points and select and rotate the points at one end in two directions. For the points already selected, I'll use Artisan Scale to shrink that side. Now I'll close the component and select it, and use Make Symmetrical to add a mirrored copy along the rotated face, then repeat a couple more times. Sketchy FFD works on the current context only. In this example, I'll use the Select brush to select a few quads, right-click and choose Make Group and Edit, and use the Sculpt brush with Lock Boundary on to push in just the quads in this group. After closing that group, I'll make the entire object a group, open it for editing, and turn on Sketchy FFD. Manipulating the cage points will affect only the first level objects in the group, while the nested group remains unaffected. Finally, Sketchy FFD can also be used on a planar mesh. In this example, I'll open the Flag Rectangle group, turn off Display Edges, and turn on Sketchy FFD. This produces cage points in 2D, with only one level in the green direction. Now I can Artisan Select and Rotate a couple of points, and Artisan Move a couple of different points. Pressing Enter to regenerate the points maintains the 2D cage but I can enter values to get a 3D grid, turn on X-ray view so that I can see all cage points, and add some more movement to the fabric. Here's the model with the group closed and X-ray view turned off.